Widgets are a new way for us to take in our daily dose of information. They're eliminating the clutter and bringing only the basic needed information to the forefront. Apple did a great job of creating widgets that look great and just work, but while iOS 14 brings a new layer of customization, their stock widgets don't necessarily do the same. That's where a new app comes into play, an app that's already building a community of users who have embraced it and pushed it to its customization limits. That's Widgie. What's up guys, Dan here with Vittertech, and today I'm gonna to be taking you through a new way to build your own widgets. Whether you're not finding what you need in stock widgets, or you want more control over the look and feel of your home screen, the developers of Widgie rose to the challenge. And while it may be more complex than some people need, others are gonna be really happy with it. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've been using Widgie for a couple of months now, and I gotta say it does a good job of taking this complex idea and making it user-friendly. So diving into the app here, you're immediately gonna see the large 4x4 widget. It's gonna have a placeholder saying, welcome to Widgie, and it's gonna have a symbol there. Everything in this from the background to the text, to the symbols, to the information it pulls in are all totally customizable. So in the bottom here, you have all of your layers, which you can turn on and off from view, the next tab is your document where you can name what the widget is called and you can change the size from large to medium to small. And then the history shows you all of your changes if you needed to revert back. And I'm gonna start with a clean slate. So I'm gonna delete all of these layers just by swiping and hitting delete on all of them. I'm gonna keep the background white, which it is right now. And you can see if we tap on the right here, we can turn on and off the grid lines and we can get a preview of what that will look like. Adding a new layer, you see you have the option from text, symbol, solid gradient, image, bar chart, and circle chart. So starting on the top left, I'm gonna add in a symbol. And so by default, it's pulling in the microphone. However, if I go to the symbol tab, you can see all kinds of different options here. I'm gonna start with the calendar. Once I have it selected, I'm gonna to go to frame and you can see that you can move its position by a full step, which brings it down the grid lines. You can go to half step, which just does half of that grid, or you can go to one tenth if you really want to refine it. Next, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add in a new layer, and that's going to be a text layer. But rather than it just being plain text, it takes it much further and it can pull in real data. If we go to the data tab on the right, you can select date and time, and here I'm going to do the day. By default, it adds in the prefix of text, but you can delete that. I'm going to make this a different color and I'm going to make it a little bit larger and maybe a little bit more bold. And then next I'm going to add the numbers. So again, I'm going to go to text, add this layer, move it over. This one's going to be a lot larger because it's going to be the number. And then if I go to data, I can remove text and I can add in the day. So next I'm gonna add some system information like which Wi-Fi network I'm connected to. So I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna to go to symbols and try to find a good symbol for Wi-Fi. And here we're gonna select whether we are connected and it's gonna be a yes or a no. And then next on the right side, to span that whole length, we're gonna show what song is currently playing. So in this case, we're gonna add an image. And if you select the image tab, you can actually choose where you want that to pull in from. Here we're gonna say Apple Music and we're gonna change that frame so that it's a full square. So then when I go to my home screen and I open my widget tray, I'm gonna search for Widgie. And then here you can see the two by two that I created. If I drag that and put it onto my home screen, you can see now it works. And now if I go to Apple Music and I play something, then you can see that it shows up. Now, like I said, there's a huge community already using Widgie, even before it's released to the public on the App Store. Here's a few community submitted widgets. Leave a comment down below to cast your vote.
As always, remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. It also tells YouTube that this video doesn't suck. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.